Okay, Don here with another test on GUVCU. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and switched the camera output, and the input to this application from the camera output, but it calls it camera output, uh, to H264. I know that's, uh, well, I'd forgotten if it did 64, 65, but I wasn't thinking about it until I saw the uh, YUV or whichever one it was. I think it's YUV that was using by default. I want to see if that made a, does make a better video. I can see right now they're just not grainy like it was. I thought that was awfully grainy for this camera. Uh, you still can't go any higher than 1280 by 720. It's only got two to choose from, 640 by 360 and 1280 by 720. I, what I'm going to find out here is, is that the limitation of the uh, camera or the limit that it's sending out through USB or is that the... Uh, <coughs> Limitation of this application. I'll try it in OBS Studio to do it. <coughs> but uh, this is a good webcam app. <laughs> <coughs> but I usually um, use OBS Studio for most everything nowadays. Because <coughs> it'll do it all. Uh, live stream and re recording video. Live stream and record video at the same time. And uh, <coughs> Sinuses. Oh, forgot. I'm going to take some sinus medicine. I'll, after I quit this, I'll do that. The... Uh, Color is too white. I need to. See. You can set that in the camera, and I haven't. The default is this, whatever it's called, and uh, I don't like it like that. But I'll, I'll change that later. Too bright uh, makes me look everything look too white. My head, you know, forehead, and all that. But uh, yeah, that's a lot more clear. So uh, <clears throat> I won't mess with any of the other settings. Uh, Thirty frames per second. That's what it recorded in. I went and looked at my video before I did this one. And the name of the camera is the default name. Yeah, I don't imagine you could change it. It's Demo 1. That's what the computer sees. And uh, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was kind of going, man, that that's really disappointing, you know, the look of the video. Like I was saying before, my two megapixel phone cameras, uh, it looked about like them. And this is a 13 megapixel camera. They say they call it, say it's a 4K camera. You see, what's the name of this? 4K all over everything, but it, they they supposedly achieve 4K through uh, the software up up. Uh, I can't remember the general. A lot of times it's called up uh, scaling, upscaling. Yeah, I want to call. I keep wanting to say bit banging, and I st still don't remember. I, over the last few months, when I bought the, ago when I bought the camera, uh, I kept. I think they call it bit banging. A lot of the programmers do um, the 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 method by which they rate, try to raise the resolution. It's uh, the the 13 megapixel sensor that's in this camera. It's supposed to be a Sony 13 megapixel sensor. I'm looking at it on the box right here. Uh, is not anywhere near 4K, but <clears throat> um, I th yeah, it would do. It'll do 1080p though. Um, so I'll probably just well. It, when it's a USB, it, it is only do. Uh, that's what I want to figure out. What is the max it will do right now? It's 1280 by 720, which is not 1080p. That's just below it. So um, maybe all you can get over USB. Uh, and uh, let's see, I'm looking at the specs. Yeah, they give it names. UHD 4K, QHD 2.7K, FHD 10, 1080p, HD 720p, and VGA 480. Uh, and you can set all those things, you know, the out, you can set what you want to record in. Uh, I don't know if that changes the output on the USB. I haven't really done any experimenting with that. Uh, resolution, 38M, I guess that's meaning th uh, 48M, I guess they're meaning megapixels, 30, 20, 16, 12, 10, 7, s then they go... Oh, and then in a parenthesis, 60.9, that would be the aspect ratio. 5M, 3M, 2M, 16.9 again after that, and uh, VGA. Uh, you can put a SD card in it. It says up to 256 gigabytes. I can't remember which ones I bought. I bought 128s for 256s. I've got one in it. <coughs> um, might be a 128, I can't remember. Uh, file format, MP4, photo, V4, 
video mp4 photo jpeg okay so i knew that that's why i knew for sure that h264 would be um, that's the stand was that was the that was the standard highest mp4 resolution uh, or i don't i don't know any other word to use uh, but now they have h265 and then light infrared infrared ray oh okay well that's not coming on now because my room's bright enough zoom 16 inch digital x digital that's no optical zoom and i never did uh, and then there's more over here about the i won't go into any of the rest of it well let's see awb i don't know what awd stands for but under it it says it's a chart i just put this up to the camera and see if it can be seen Ooh, it's going to be too blurry <coughs> Yeah, too blurry for anybody to read. Um, I think it's called, the brand name is Comri, K-O. Let's see. That's the box. See, that's why I keep forgetting the brand, because I don't even see it anywhere on here. Uh, what I've seen on uh, <clears throat> review videos and stuff on YouTube is that a lot of different Chinese cameras use this chip. Uh, this, you know, and they just, you know, they manufacture it in one or two, I don't know if they had one factory or several different ones, and then they give them different brand names, you know, just like with everything else. AWB, exposure. Uh, okay, let's see. Lens, exposure, screen. Oh. Oh, I think, there we go. Okay, so it's left to right, left to right. It's not like a normal uh, spreadsheet reads. Uh, exactly yeah okay so yeah exposure plus three to minus three port usb uh, 2.0 hd port external microphone port yeah and i'm not using the audio uh, luckily my computer uh, i have my sm58 going through my behringer mixer and behringer vm compressor noise gate and all that uh, <clears throat> going into the line in on the computer so the computer uh, automatically picks it as the default which is great because i don't have to mess around you know i have to reset it every time i start and stop the computer you know reboot the computer or start different apps or whatever so i don't have to mess with the the the, the audio the mic on this camera is horrible uh, i don't know if it's it's not the mic i don't think i think it's the software trying to uh trying to auto adjust it it cuts in and out and it's it's it squelches it uh, if you've ever Back in the olden days, in the seven, 60s and 70s, everybody liked uh, CB radios, and they have a have a system on it called squelching, squelch, and uh, whenever something's too loud, it'll whoosh, it's kind of like a compressor, but not near as good. Uh, it doesn't work as well, and uh, you can really hear it in the audio. It's it's a weird sound, kind of a squeaking sound or something, and uh, that's what I hear when I just use that mic, especially if i'm not holding it right here you know like if i'm holding it up here to where i'm I, I uh you know that little screen's pretty small so i have to have it pretty close for me to see it to really uh, aim it well it doesn't does it have an eye no i don't it doesn't have an only has a screen it doesn't have an uh an analog viewport um so anyway if i hold it about right here about where my magnifying glass is here then it, it's not it, it's okay but if you just get it out like this, or if you turn around, you know, you set the camera on a tripod and, and talk to the camera, it's just horrible. You can't really even understand what's being said. So uh, <clears throat> with that, uh, I saw some bad reviews on the audio when I bought it, but I went out and bought it because it claimed to do 48 megapixels, uh, which I knew it was doing it in software, but I really think that those... I, I think the claims are just right out lies. I don't think that it does anywhere near that. Um, and uh, I don't know if I figure out a way to actually, well, I guess the best way I can do it, it well, through the through the USB, I know it doesn't because I can see what, what I'm getting in the uh, videos. But, uh, you know, well, if I, I did record some, um, yeah, if I go back and look at the, it does say 48 megapixel, but the software... Okay, if the software says, yeah, this is 48 megapixel, 
then the player, like VLC, is just going to read back to you whatever the software put in there. That doesn't mean you're, that doesn't prove you're actually getting it. So I don't really know how to prove or disprove that by myself. I'm not a programmer. So, uh, and then the Wi Fi, yes, ISOs uh, 100, 200, and 400. That's usable. You know, it's okay. Uh, I'm not up on all the, what all the, you know, say like if you were to buy a 4K Canon or Sony or something, uh, consumer camera, I'm not up on all their specs. Um, <clears throat> I forget this stuff about as fast as I read it. So I can't keep it all in my head. Auto power off. Uh, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. <clears throat> I don't know if that's turned on or not, but since it's plugged in the USB to the computer, I've been kind of looking at it, seeing if like the battery warning has come up or anything. <coughs> I know I've run it down several times, so it'll run about 20 minutes around that all, just on the battery. I think it's been running much longer than that now. So, uh, cause I talked to somebody on Skype before I started filling around with it. So I guess it does charge. I wasn't could, <coughs> <coughs> couldn't remember if it charged <coughs> or plugged into USB. That's good because of when I do my live streams, I go hour to five. I've gone five hours, you know. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons I bought this camera because you could uh, do uh, use it as a, a webcam, basically, you know, to do my live streams um, and. <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to also do it over the wireless, over the Wi-Fi. I don't know if it will send out an I, um, if it shows up an IP address on my router, then I should be able to bring it into OBS Studio. But I don't know if the quality would be good enough. It may be down in the, you know, it's really meant to be sent to phones and tablets. Um, and uh, that may, it may be uh, down in like four, the bottom, the bottom uh, resolution, like, 480p or something so that wouldn't be any good for my streams because I do uh, <clears throat> well I stream in 1080 to 1080p but like my cameras that I've been using well my phones do 1080p but uh, they're only two megapixels so they're kind of grainy but they will do that resolution uh, let's see auto power off computer system says it works with 98 98 SE to uh, ME 2000 XP Vista Win 7 O and Win 10 well of course, I'm using uh, Fedora Linux, uh, Fedora 28, and it does work just fine, no problems whatsoever in here. Uh, with It just recognizes it and, bur and brings it into whatever app I've tried it with so far. The size of it, uh, it's all in millimeters, weight, grams, so that part doesn't mean anything to me. <clears throat> Those are just arbitrary numbers floating out in the breeze to us Americans, <clears throat> unless you're just really into learning that stuff. But... Uh, <clears throat> I was born at a time when we used inches and pounds and quarts and that's what I learned and that's what I used. So that's a good, uh, plenty of a test. I and so I will see what this one looks like, <coughs> and uh, then I'll start with OBS Studio because that's what I want to get it set up. With.